is going on fellas and welcome back to the director of football journeyman we've just finished the january well not just finished we've finished the january transfer window we've played one game since the window closed and as you can see we're currently sitting in fourth we're back for the game against caroli because it's the second game i didn't want to play the royal antwerp game because we played them in the last episode but we have uh Caroli today who are currently sitting in third so they're doing quite well for themselves at the moment um, with our ex-goalkeeper playing for them Sanyak. I actually have a look he's, uh, he's quite unhappy with the Caroli manager so if he hadn't left he'd still be happy playing away for us um, result wise since you were here which was the bear shop game i think um if it wasn't because i've had i took a couple of days off because i've been a bit sick i'm still not better but um i kind of want to play the the safe so because i'm really enjoying it um beat bear shot 3-0 then we went and drew 2-2 with westerlo uh we were just it wasn't great but it looks i don't remember um then we smashed gink in the cup 4-0 diallo with a brace it was oh then we went and played uh, Club Rouge in the league. Um, Alfonso Davies, for some reason, is playing for Club Rouge. He scored within, I think it was like 30 seconds or something. Um, we managed to get one back in the 56th, and that was about it, really. Uh, then against Sintruense, um, Gabor Toth decided to uh, start scoring goals, which is something he's never really done in his career. He scored a brace against us, and that was frustrating. Uh, because we had gone 2-1 up and then he just decided to turn on the magic and, and won them the game. Uh, then against Standard Liège, Thiago Rodriguez managed to score himself a nice little goal. Delightful. Then we had a friendly against Love and Bratislava. Nobody cares. We lost that one. Then we came back to the league um, against Mechelen and we lost 2-1. Two players sent off. Diallo went, got sent off right at the very end. So we can't really blame him for anything. Uh, the game was lost pretty much already at that stage, regardless. Uh, Joris uh, Verbecke got, came on as a substitute and then had to go off within seven minutes with a broken wrist or fractured wrist or something. Uh, then we played Standard Liège again, but this time in the cup, and they beat us 1-0, which was very frustrating. We, we were the better team. We just couldn't put away our chances. Beat Anderlecht in the league, Rodriguez and Di Grese, both scoring from corners, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then we beat Standard Liège in the second leg, but they won on away goals because they scored in this game and we couldn't score in the game or the, the away leg originally, which was frustrating. Diallo waited till 94th minute to score. He had, he had about 15 chances, didn't put any of them away. Uh, then again, Sulte Vargan quite convincingly beat them and uh, just took our foot off the gas at the end and they scored in the 93rd minute and gave me a little bit of a squeaky bum time but it was fine and then we i've just played the royal antwerp game uh beat them 4-2 sacramento scored a brace so he's not done a whole lot this year but he's managed to score a cheeky little goal or two in that game if we win against caroli today we do jump up to possibly second i think we'll just jump caroli i don't think we have anything over standard liege do we we did beat them in the league there is oh they beat us 5-2 i don't know we'll see uh transfer wise this is what you're all interested in we dave Linz, who are you I'm trying to bring you in as a coach by the looks of it um so we have been relatively busy but more so on the outs rather than the ins uh, we brought in midkov you already know about him the right back He's had a bit of um, an interesting start to his career with us. He's not had a fantastic time. So I'm just hoping that he comes good relatively soon. Because uh, Coppins, his form is a bit interesting at the minute. Then Eric Remal Remekle. Yeah, that's probably right. He's a... Um, play anywhere from centre midfield forward centre midfield attack midfield striker he's gone out on loan uh, we paid quite a lot of money for him half a million costs so far uh, he's not very good 
Gink paid 54k for him earlier this year. Uh, we took him off their hands for almost 10 times what they paid. And um, yeah, he's gone out alone. Not done too much so far, but I suppose he's only played twice. I think that's the one that goes up to a million. Yeah, if he plays a certain amount of games, scores a certain amount of goals, goes up to a million quid. He's never going to play, probably. Uh, then we signed Frank Simonin, another striker. Don't really have too much of a need for him. So I put him on the loan list. He's gone out to um, Chamos Neuratus. One of our affiliates came in for him. Uh, paid 86k for him, so it's not like we're paying an awful lot of money for him. He's done relatively well in Belgium while he was here, but he's come back to France. So he rocked up to Belgium and then had to turn around and go back the way he came. Um, then we signed on deadline day. I was sitting there thinking, he's been very quiet on deadline day. It's been 20 odd days, nearly three weeks since we made a signing. Uh, didn't have to worry too much. Because we signed Timothy Steiner, who is a right back from Gink. They spent 425k on him. We bought him off from for 52. So we did a bit of business to them. He's just going to sit in the under-21s and see how he gets on. Uh, looks like we're training him to be a centre-back. Yeah, I suppose kind of makes... Yeah. yeah, I suppose kind of makes sense. I don't know. And... The last player we signed was Stefan Popovich, who is a fullback slash centre back. Um, I'm teaching him to be a centre back. I think he'll be a better defender centre back than he will um, uh, wide man. No, not wide man. Fullback, wing back ish. I think he's better as a centre back. So we're going to try and get him to do that. He's played played one game. Get off the bench in the game against Antwerp for about. Five minutes I think so he's not had a whole lot of time as of yet on the outs it's been a bit more interesting a couple of pairs went out on loan Bosman's has gone on loan Negrea has gone to Romania you know Bulgaria I saw Sofia he's Romanian that's why I was thinking he was Romanian he's gone to Bulgaria for 3.4 million which is fantastic Stefan Bamba came said he was wanted more first team football but he wanted it on loan so he's gone out on loan. Um, the two players we brought in gone out. Ch Tim Chick went to Pushkash Academica for 2.2 million. De Reuter has gone to Zolte Vargan on loan. Then we sold Farkas, who I had never heard of. He was sitting in our under 18s and I had no idea he was there. We sold him for 425k, which, you know, I'm not going to complain. That's a nice bit of money. And then um, Adil Saeed just two days ago went to Austria. Played and scored on his debut. Well done. Um, he was bitching and moaning that he wanted to leave. And the director of football just kept rejecting offers for him. Just constant rejecting of offers. Speaking of rejecting offers, Guy Mercret, we had an offer for him. Of I think it was 150,000 and the director of football decided to extend his contract and said so I've transfer listed him and uh, hoping that that would force through a transfer no the director of football just kept rejecting the offers anyway so the way I used to the way with a director of football generally what you do is you transfer list a player or you put them on the development list so they try and get them out on loan or you loan list them, whatever. I transfer listed this guy. He just kept rejecting offers, regardless of what we were doing. Just kept saying no, 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 no. And regardless of how many clubs came in for them, just kept rejecting the offers. Um, Diallo had quite a lot of offers for him. Um, there was a bunch of clubs interested in trying to sign him. Um, I think Atletico Madrid had the highest offer rejected. It was 27 million, I think. Um, the overall balance being positive definitely helped. Um, I think we would have lost him if we were a little, if we were in the red like we were last year when we got that kind of offer. Never would have been able to keep him. He would have been gone straight away. 
So this is how we are lining up today. We do have a couple of, uh, okay, we have one injury. Uh, Fofana is out with the flu and Verbeke is not quite fit enough to come back. Sergio could play, but he's not going to. What's Parashi? Okay, whatever. Um, so we're going to start with Hector in goal. Mitkov and Roberto as our wide men. I've set the two of them to defend because they're just not getting forward, even though I have them on support. And I had overlap turned on. I just turned it off because the two of them aren't doing anything. Um, Everett and Degresse are going to play as our central defenders. Pavlov and Sidija as, again, different name. Calling them different names constantly. As our central midfielders. Lengeti and Barashi as our wide men with Diallo and Sacramento up front. Decker's performances of late have been poor to say the least so I've decided against starting him today he played quite a lot of the games recently but I'm just going to give Lingetta the start today because might as well yeah do the thing for the the pundits because that's what everyone seems to love playing well for the pundits now we've asked Diallo to pick up where he left off Diallo was very wasteful in the last game, so I'm hoping that he uh, he doesn't do that in this game. It would be nice if we could, you know, convincingly beat a team when we're better than like when we're obviously better than them, like when we outperform a team. Mm. What I have been doing of late is because our centre backs are quite good at tackling. Um. I'm kind of just getting them to, to go in hard on the uh, opposition and always closing down the opposition goalkeeper is a good idea just just because a lot of the time the new gen goalkeepers composures pretty meh and their passing can be a little bit wayward so if you put if you press them it makes a huge difference from what I've seen anyway the yellow with the ball across it gets cleared but we managed to keep the ball Pavlov Sadija Lengeti put it past Sanyak um, watch out for tomorrow um, if I'm feeling better I'm going to be recording um, a video for a new series <clears throat> that um, I think that will definitely bring interest for, well, it's a team I hold dear to my heart I love the team, so I'm always going to want to do a save with this team. Not done one yet this year, and I generally do one every year. Um, not necessarily on YouTube. I I think I did one last. Yeah, it was last year I did one on Twitch, and before I started content creation, I was doing uh, a save with them every year, regardless, because I took over at them in FM12 when I was just you know a random human playing football manager at home in my pants and um, I've loved them ever since so most people will know the club from that story but one of my friends like I said in a different video is also doing a save with them which many of you probably know who he is and it's just it's a club I love quite dearly. Um, hopefully going to be going seeing them in December because myself and my girlfriend are intending on taking a little holiday to this. Oh, they've just scored again. It's only fifteen minutes in. What the fuck is going on? Uh, we're taking a a break away to this location for the Christmas markets. And I'm going to go and see a football match, if I can. Hopefully they have a home, ga home game home, home game that uh, week we're there. But Caroli have decided to uh, turn it on a bit here. The goalkeeping situation. One thing I haven't touched on. Um, Hector and Dreisen have kind of been rotating a lot. Because... Hector's constantly complaining about not getting enough first team football. Um, I think Dreisen is probably a better future goalkeeper. He's three years younger. Um, how is that not offside? Alright, we're going to move it back to positive. 
I'm going to demand more. Because attacking just seems to leave them getting behind. Diallo's playing terribly. Peru. Uh, yeah, it's been... It's been... Mm. Roberto's been booked, so that means he's probably going to get sent off. Uh, like I said, Mikov has been less than fantastic since he arrived. He's playing poorly again. Not I. Um, he's he's young. He's only eighteen. He's still learning language. He's only been here a month, so he's getting involved with the players, trying to bed in. It's been difficult for him by by the looks of it. Um, I'm going to be super aggressive until I expect better in the second half. Um, is this the manager decided to tell everyone that they were unlucky? I had set up so that the strikers would swap, but I'm just going to tell them to not do that anymore. Because it doesn't seem to be working, so Diallo's just going to stay on the right. The USA head's sort of clear, we got away with that one. I thought it said the keeper flicked it over the, the bar, but then they don't get a corner. Okay. Sacramento. It's like the first attacking move I've seen, and it's not actually... Oh, maybe it is. Pavlov picked, picked it up. Lingeri. Farashi. Sacramento. Farashi back to Sacramento. Just falling over each other. Not opposition instructions. I meant to go to... Yeah, discard all changes. Team instructions. What are we doing? We're hitting early crosses. We are going to go slightly more direct because the short passing just seems to be causing um, issues in the final third in this game. It's not normally an issue we have. But today it just seems to be not. It just doesn't seem to be working. Lengeti is very deep for a winger on attack. And Sanyak just boots it clear. Roberto heads on to Barashi. What's Brashi going to Brashi's going to lose the ball, but Roberto picks it up to Sidija. Diallo, offside. Diallo was offside. He was offside. He was offside. I'm not going to celebrate. He's offside. Um, trying to move. Okay, you're not going to see it now. Anyway. Gink are still down in 12th. And Diallo was so far offside. Uh, Gink are still sitting in 12th currently. So I don't think they're going to make it into the top six. So we won't be playing them. When it comes time for the split in five games time. This season has flown by. We're on the overmark now. Mitkev to Everett. Back to Everett. Who I'm surprised didn't have any offers for him during uh, January. I'm guessing in the summer we'd probably have offers. Mitkev's given away a penalty. He didn't even have to go to the, the TV that time. Just straight penalty, yep. Uh, fuck it, we're losing anyway. 4-1. We might as well just go attacking. Alright, lads. Bit of passion. Come on. Alright, Mikov. I'm sorry, but you're coming off. Coopins. I'm going to bring Doso on. At centre-back. And fuck it, we'll go triple substitution. Rodriguez is going to come on for Sacramento up front. And, uh... I'll just shout it. Though. I can shout again. Alright, lads. Bit of... Bit of Forward, very attacking, why not? First goal, of course. Yeah, just press everyone. Tack it. I'm showing to the weaker foot. I'm going to tight mark everybody. Except we won't tackle Sanyak. No, uh, just don't tackle him. Fair enough. Did I see? Yeah. Kian Stank or Sison Stankovic is their uh, backup goalkeeper. We could. Pavlov, Everett? No. Sadija, back to Everett. It's. It falls loose in their box and nothing happens. It falls loose in our box. Instant goal. God damn it. 
I genuinely thought we had a chance of beating Caroli. I genuinely thought we had a chance of beating them. I thought we were the better team. But I was wrong. <clears throat> um, so that's me. Still have a seven point gap over Muscron. But they have a game in hand. Mm. But the points still have to be halved when we get into the top If we get into the top or the top six. Uh, the Ukraine boss was there to watch our centre midfielder who originally wasn't going to be playing today because Fofana, well, Fofana has been the Mazella and he has been fantastic as a Mazella. Um, I'm thinking now Sacramento might actually just be a super sub because he scored twice in the game that he came off the bench and he was pretty shit in that game. Not going to lie. Um, so the next episode is going to be Gink and... Royal Excelsior Virton. Um but that's gonna be after the new series comes out. I haven't yet recorded it because I had intended recording that video a couple of days ago because I up I did I have the whole setup ready, I just have to um actually record the the first video. But with all of this happening, it's um it's been a little bit Difficult, so I'm, I'm glad I'm a couple of videos ahead. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been anything for the last four days, I think. Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, it really helps the channel. I if the more people that like the video, the more people that comment, the more people that subscribe, the more YouTube will push the um, the video into other people's recommended channels, I guess. The recommended videos if we can get found get seen grow then you know it would make me very happy um the more people who can see us losing 5-1 to caroli the better i think so if you have enjoyed like i said leave a like um if you didn't like the video leave a dislike comment down below tell me what i did wrong what you didn't like about it um but yeah thank you very much for watching fellas and i'll see you in the next one bye